G'day folks and welcome to another tutorial. So we're going to finish up our little adventure in string instructions today by looking at the um, remaining two string instructions that I wanted to go through and that's uh, compare string and move string. So we'll do one at a time and uh, oh. then we can move on to something slightly more interesting. Okay, so first of all we'll go through um, compare string Uh, the mnemonic for compare string is uh, just like the other string instructions. We've got CMPS and MEM, which I choose not to use for exactly the same reasons as I don't use the um, operand version of the other ones, but uh, feel free to use that if you like it. And then there's CMPSB for compare string in bytes, CMPSW, CMPSD, and CMPSQ. Okay, so that's for comparing strings in bytes, words, double words, or quad words. And what compare string does is it performs um, CMP, um, I'll just put PTR here, uh, SI, the source index, and PTR, RDI. Um, so it performs a comparison and sets the flags, and then it adds one to um, RSI or whatever the size is, and it also adds to RDI size. Okay, so if we're comparing bytes, then these are both byte pointers. There's a byte pointer here, and there's a byte pointer here, and the size that it adds is 1. Uh, logically, if we're comparing, you know, um, double words, then they're D word pointers, and the size that it adds onto RSI and RDI is 4. Okay, so that's pretty standard, that's pretty similar to the um, previous string instructions. The um, repeat prefixes that you can use with the uh, compare strings is rep e slash rep z and rep n e slash rep n z. So once again, um, you set the maximum length of the strings that you're comparing in uh, RCX. So and you can put one of these at the start. So if you say um, rep E CMPSB, it would mean um, something like while RCX does not equal zero uh, dec RCX and comp byte PTR RSI to RDI. Oh, that's a byte pointer as well. And um, which did we say? Repeat while equal. So it would be J N E jump while not equal to break loop. Alrighty. Otherwise, um, if we come over here because I've run out of room. Um, add RSI1, add RDI1, and the loop would repeat. So put my braces, there we go. Okay, so yeah, you can automatically jump out of a loop when the uh, first unequal values are found with um, a rep E or rep Z as a prefix to the instruction, or you can automatically jump out of the loop when the first um, equal values are found. So maybe you want to search a string for the first values that are equal if you've got two strings. Um, also as per usual those adds there that we're adding to um, RSI and RDI, uh, if your direction flag is set to 1, say you've done a um, STD, you've called the um, set direction flag instruction, then um, yeah they wouldn't be adds, they'd be subs. Anyway, so th yeah, this what we're, what we're pretty much saying is that this instruction here can be used to um, find the first value that is equal in two strings or find the first value that is not equal in two strings. Do note that by the time it finds it, by the time we've, um, so we've got something like maybe rep e, and so we're comparing strings of words, cmpw, um, rdi and rsi, 
will point to the the next um, value in the strings. They won't point to the one that wasn't equal. So for repeat while equal, it's going to jump out of the uh, repetition of the instruction um, as soon as it finds one that's not equal between the two strings. But um, RDI and RSI will already have been incremented to the next one. So if you wanted to actually point them to the one that wasn't uh, equal, if you wanted to point them to the uh, word that broke the loop, then you'd have to sub two from them. So the sub RDI2 and sub RSI2. That would make them both pointers to the uh, actual value in memory that broke the loop. Confusing stuff. Okay, so I want to say also that sometimes you don't want to use this in a loop. Oh, sorry, you don't want to use the repeat prefixes. So some might have something up here like main loop and we've uh, handwritten a loop for ourselves. RCX, oops, DEC, RCX and JNZ main loop. And maybe you're looking for the um, first value that's that's less in uh, the RSI pointer, the source index. So we could do C M P S W. We'll just compare um, words again. Why not? And J L. Um, maybe R S I was less. And we'd have to have that label somewhere. R S I was less. Okay. So to test things like um, if the pointer in RSI has a less value or a greater value than um, RDI, you can't use the repeat prefix, but um, you can hand draw a loop like we've done just here. And yeah, straight after the comp SW, you can put the um, comparison there. So here we're testing if RSI was less. Anyway, that's enough about the compare string instruction. Let's go on to the um, final string instruction. They're hard work, these string instructions. Alrighty. So the final string instruction that we're going to look at is move string. Okay, so as before we've got um, various mnemonics, mov s mem, so there's a version that takes an operand, which I don't use. Let's not talk about why. There's um, mov s b to move um, bytes, mov s w to move whatever starts with W, um, words, mov sd to move D words, and mov sq to move eight bytes at a time. And what this does is um, moves um, into RDI, RSI. Alrighty, so um, yeah, if we're using, say, mov sb, then it's going to do pretty much exactly this. mov um, byte ptr rdi um, byte ptr, another byte pointer, rsi, and then inc, or we should say add actually, add rsi1, add rdi1. Okay, it does that pretty much. It's interesting that it's actually performing a move here between two memory operands. You know, if you write out your own MOV, you can never have two memory operands, but uh, MOV SB does exactly that. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And um, you can use the rep prefix. So just rep, not repeat while equal or repeat while not equal, just the uh, repeat prefix, which once again means that um, you can put the length of your strings into RCX and it will move that amount. So, for instance, if we had, say, maybe a thousand double words in two arrays and we wanted to move from array A into array B, let's just have a bit of a scribble, 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 and we'll write out how to do that. Okay, so we want to move from array A into array B, so, um, no, we won't use MOV, we'll use LEA. We'll pretend that these are defined in our data segment somewhere. LEA, load effective address. What did we say? The, from array A. Okay, load effective address into the destination of the. Um, what did I say? Move from array A into array B. Okay, so that's wrong. Okay, B. Array B is the destination if we're moving from array A into array B. Gosh, I'm confusing myself. Alright.
and a right A in this example is the um, source index and then we could say, what do we say, they were a thousand and they were um, D words, so we say mov rcx a thousand, that's the count of the uh, D words that we want to move then rep um, mov sd bingo folks, it's going to move all thousand bytes from um, array B into array A it's not going to do it any quicker than uh, you could write a loop but it's much easier to program Alrighty, so that's uh, how you would use um, move string, and that's how you would use um, compare string, and that's about all that I want to say on the string instructions. So next time we'll get onto something slightly more interesting, and uh, thank you for listening. Alright, see ya.